Hi, my name is James Shepard, and today I want to talk to you about buying merchant accounts on Facebook. Now, uh, this is a title that is designed to grab your attention, and hopefully I've done that because our industry has really not taken advantage of Facebook marketing very much at all. In fact, I don't think that I have ever even talked about it on this uh, on my channel, um, which is kind of shocking because I love Facebook marketing and use it all the time for our business. So one of the things that I, I'm really passionate about is the future of what they call FOS or feet on the street um, model. And so there's all these salespeople, many of you watching my video, and I believe that you know there is a huge value to having feet on the street. The problem is that the value of having feet on the street isn't just getting somebody out there to close the deal on straight commission. And I really believe that one of the big shifts we're gonna see in our industry over the next few years is a shift away from this you know, pure 1099, good luck, get out there and make a sale, have fun while you're doing it. Um, that model, um, the problem is that it leaves so much value on the table. And so one of the things that you can do with a sales team or even as a salesperson is you can begin to collect data. Now in this particular one here, I'm going to talk to you about two types of data that you can collect. Okay. The first type of data that you can collect is email addresses. And we're going to get to Facebook in just a second, so don't worry. But you can collect two different types of information. One is email addresses. The other one is website traffic. So without getting too technical, on your website, you can put a little uh, Facebook pixel. It's a little snippet of code. And you can, if you use Google Analytics, it's the same kind of thing. You can put that on your website for Facebook. And Facebook will build you a custom audience of everyone who visited your website in the last 180 days. Because when someone visits your website, Facebook grabs their IP address, which is like their identifier for their computer or their phone or whatever. And then they match that up with users on their end and say, oh, user, you know, the user with this IP address on your website is the same user that visited Facebook with this IP address. That must be the same person. So we're going to target them on Facebook with ads about what's on your website. Okay, now they won't tell you who that person is. They're protecting your privacy and all that, um, but they will allow you to target that person through um, a custom audience. So why on earth would you want to do this? Well, there's a couple reasons, okay? Using, and again, this, the kind of the idea behind this video is just to give you a broad, you know, a broad uh, stroke here, and I'm gonna make some training uh, courses and stuff later to give you a little more detail about it. But the idea is you can build something on Facebook called a lookalike audience, okay? So let me explain what that means. Let's say that I get the email address for 300 merchants. Many of you right now, you're an ISO, and literally right now, you have a database of 500, 1,000, 2,000 email addresses of merchants, okay? The way you need to leverage that data is you upload that into Facebook marketing as a custom audience, okay? Then you take that custom audience and you create a lookalike audience, a lookalike audience basically tells Facebook, hey, Facebook, see these 500 people? Go find all the people with these email addresses on Facebook. Or you can do the same thing with Facebook pixels. You can combine the two. Here's our, you know, maybe I have 100 email addresses and I've got, you know, 500 people that have visited my website in the last, you know, three months or whatever. So I combine those two and say, Facebook, go find me 2 million people like this. That's literally the number because they do about 1% of the whole population of the U.S. Um, it's about 2.2 million people that they will get you, okay? So they're going to say, all right, fine, we'll go find all those people. So now you've got kind of what they call a cold audience, but you've got, you know, all of these small business owners, potentially. Not all of them are small business owners, but a lot of them are going to be because Facebook algorithm is really good at doing these lookalike audiences. Then you can cross-reference that with interests. So now you say, okay, Facebook, all the of those 2.2 million people that also have an interest in business, small business, retail, restaurant, whatever, things that would help you to be like, oh yeah, that's probably a business owner. Um, and you pull it down. So now you've got the 2.2 million and maybe you bring that down to 400,000 or something. Um, and then you could also go geographically. You know, I only want the people within this area or whatever, right? So now what you can do is now you can run Facebook ads against that. And you want to start with Facebook ads that are, you know, a good content strategy that's going to warm people up. Um, good videos, content, or, you know, uh, free eBooks, things that are going to get them familiar with your brand. Then you want to leverage something like our quote tool where we do a free quote, uh, you know, Hey, you know, get your free quote online and you go and get them to do that. And then you're generating leads that you can then follow up on either with an online application or with salespeople with feet on the street. So Summarizing this video, let me make a few suggestions. Number one suggestion is get your salespeople to start collecting data and get that data from them. 
okay? Email addresses, updating the business name, address, you know, whatever data you can get. Three or four years from now, data is gonna be golden. If you have good data, you can make a lot more money. So have them start collecting data. Even if all the stuff I said about Facebook was Greek to you, start collecting the data, okay? Um, number two is, if you already have data, look into Facebook marketing. Um, one of the things I really want to do with my consulting um, agency over the next few years is that, you know, it's kind of ironic that I, I spend so much of my time on consulting talking about recruiting agents and training agents and financial projections and stuff, which is great because I love all that stuff. But, you know, the reason that you even know that I exist is because I understand Facebook marketing, YouTube marketing, pay-per-click advertising, you know, web strategy, content marketing. Um, that's the reason that you even know that I exist. So, um, you know, let's talk about that. So if somebody has an interest in that side of it, work with me, reach out to me, james at ccsalesper.com and say, hey, James, you know, we have an ISO. We're interested in doing Facebook marketing. How does this work? And I'd be glad to jump on a call with you and talk to you about it a little bit more in detail, do some consulting. So um, look into Facebook marketing. It is golden opportunity right now. I promise you that four years from now, the cost of doing Facebook ads is going to be so much higher than it is right now that it's probably not even going to be feasible, just like pay-per-click. Some of you are still doing Google uh, ads, like pay-per-click ads. Um, for keywords like merchant services, it's like 30 bucks a click. It's unbelievable, you know? Very difficult to make money that way. Um, Facebook, not the same way. You can do some targeting, again, by getting that data from your agents or even from your callers. Leverage that data on Facebook to target the right people with the right message, and you can get your cost per merchant account down significantly. So if you have questions about that, comments, maybe you've already done Facebook marketing and you want to share some ideas with me of stuff that you've done, just email me, james at ccsalespro.com. And make sure you check out our instant quote tool if you're going to be doing marketing. I'm actually working on a whole marketing course. I'm really excited about it. Hopefully, I'm going to roll it out first quarter of next year. Um, but we've got some exciting stuff going on. So that's going to be one of them for sure. So my name is James Shepard. Thanks for watching and listening.